Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea. In our household, my husband and I love a dim sum. And whenever we go out for dim sum, my husband never fails to order the black bean and garlic spare rib clay pot rice. And that's what I'll be showing you how to make today. So let's get started. To start, if you're including the optional dried mushrooms, soak three dried mushrooms in hot water until you're ready to use them. Next, marinate three quarter pounds of pork spare ribs in one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of brown sugar, one pinch of salt, and a pinch of pepper. Set aside for half an hour. Now we can prepare our rice. Take two cups of rice and wash it in a container by adding a good amount of water and swirling the rice around with your fingers. Pour out the water and repeat this process another two times. Transfer the washed rice into a clay pot and add two cups of water. Take a piece of Chinese sausage, how much ever you'd like to eat, and slice it diagonally. Chinese sausage is tasty, but salty, so I'll only be using half of one. Then add in one and a half tablespoons of black bean sauce to your spare rib and stir to coat each piece. Today I'm using my homemade garlic black bean sauce, but you could use a store-bought version in the same amount just as easily. I'll have a link below to my homemade black bean sauce in the description. Place the spare ribs over the rice and drizzle one tablespoon of sesame oil over the pieces. Add in the rehydrated mushrooms if you're using them and place the Chinese sausage where there's room. Putting the spare ribs, mushrooms, and sausage directly on top of the rice certainly flavors the rice, and our family prefers the infusion of the flavors from the dripping. Place the lid on the clay pot and cook over medium-high heat. Watch the clay pot closely. In three to four minutes, bubbles will start coming up around the lid. When this happens, turn the heat to low and continue cooking for five to seven minutes with the lid slightly open. When the liquid is visibly gone, close the lid of the clay pot and continue cooking for another five to six minutes. Then turn off the heat and let it steam for 10 minutes. Do not lift the lid until the 10 minutes is up or your rice may not cook properly. And here it is friends. The meat is perfectly cooked and separates from the bone easily. The drippings from the spare rib, the sausage, and the mushrooms have infused the rice with extra flavor. The bottom of the clay pot has a nice layer of crispy rice too. Thank you again for joining me today. If you tried out my recipe, please leave a comment below on how it turned out. I'd love to know. If you liked my video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more fun food ideas. Until next time, friends. Mm -hmm.